Sir Desmond yesterday, and he mm -hmm. reminded us, reminded me uh, of a time where both you and Hassan Jallo were uh, involved with a, a dispute in Gambia. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what was that about? You know, um, Greg, this is not very well documented, mm -hmm. but I think Gambia has um, turned out to be that country that practiced or implemented international criminal justice very, very early on. Um, in 1981, there was an attempted coup in the Gambia, and the coup was foiled. And the, the government of the Gambia wanted to hold accountable, of course, those who staged the coup, those who were most responsible for the coup. And we set up a tribunal. It was like a, a special criminal division within the uh, High Court, Supreme Court of the Gambia. And we did not only have Gambians to prosecute or to be judges. We had, we had uh, judges and lawyers from all over the Commonwealth coming into Gambia to practice in this uh, special branch a criminal division to judge those most responsible for the coup. And Sir Desmond you know, was one of them. He was actually, I think, the chief prosecutor then. And probably the, probably the first experiment in modern times to set up an, a hybrid court. Because this was truly a hybrid court. It was, it was hybrid. It was a, a court which was grafted into our own national court structure. But it comprised non-Gambians. The judges and the prosecutors were all Gambians, supported, of course, by other officials, in terms mm -hmm. of police investigators, investigators etc. But uh, yes, Fatou Ben Souda, who is the um, the chief prosecutor of the ICC, and, um, together with Hassan Jallo, assisted me in, uh, in in creating and running this court, which I, you know, till the courts were set up by the ad hoc courts were set up in. 1993 by the Security Council, ICT, ICTY, and so on and so forth, was the first court after Nuremberg in Tokyo to be set up in an internationalized fashion.